Nigga wise in the shop that I do him. Do your homework, do your cheat. I ain't gotta do that. <laughs> I love these new swings. I love the way Texas Wild Wheel came through and added on to our whole culture, everything we got going on. I mean, it's gonna go down in history, man, and I love the new swing. But I still love the originals, too. I just love them, you know. Ain't nothing like it to me, man. Don't forget to do clip. I love it. I mean, it gave opportunity to a lot of people who didn't have opportunities back then. As far as riding swing. Yeah. And for you jack boys that just can't get your hustle up to save your money to get your own, it's Texas Wild Wheels. You go to the club on different days and give away sets of swingers. Like a, a so if you really just that down and out with your hurt, your hustle that dead, man. I mean, man, back, man. Go get you, go, I mean, go get a raffle ticket. And sit around and try to win the open on this man. I mean, for real, instead of taking the issue, you know, just believe, man, this shoes is a boomerang. It's coming back around. You take somebody's bitch, somebody's gonna take your bitch and your life. You know, I ain't condoning you know, this shit I'm saying, though, man. You know what I'm saying? You be what you sow, man. Houston culture is riding foes, you know what I'm saying? That's just what we did down here. It was just a way of life. The same way we sip serving. You know, jam screw. It was just, it all went together. Riding foes and bowls, you know, candy paint slabs, uh, sip and serve, you know what I'm saying? Jam and screw. That's just us. That's our life. It's just the way of life out here. When you put that slab together, that's a trophy, man. But you get so much respect and so many points by that trophy. You know what I mean? That was the only way in the ghetto we had to do it. We couldn't go let Benz lock pay 44 Benz. Anything over 10000 you going to jail. And we believed in that. But you can't tell me I can't go to Ike, spend 3500 on the bank, buy me a front end for 1200 $1, off the street, go to Alfredo, spend whatever I need to spend on my interior, my top, my milk. There was no receipts on that. So when you pulled up in your $40,000 bins and I pulled up in that slab, and you know I got 40 in it, you know I could have financed one of them. It separated us hood to get from good credit cards, I'm going to say. Not saying that they had good credit, they was buying them, but we weren't going to buck the system. You know what I mean? We was gonna do it how it was did in the hood. Say, I got my legs sitting low like a Honda Civic. Honey sack of that drove, got a G lift. lift. And the way I work the grain, gotta be gifted. Dipping in and out of traffic swiftly. Tips well, they, they thought they was calling for these foes and thought we was calling, you know, the other way around. Yeah. But now, you know what I'm saying? We wasn't trying to kill nothing, man. It's just that on our side, Foles is what it was. You know what I'm saying? I mean, with the laws, you know, it's automatically a, a nigga a stereotype for one. I, I, I guess you kind of say so. It's like it have the things. You know, usually if you're from the hood, you have the things. They figure you only get them one way, you know what I'm saying? But what they fail to realize is we brought the swingers back out here and saturated them at a cheaper price. And now you know working kids doing their thing on swing. Let me tell you, man, since I can remember, since I can remember, you know what I mean, my hood been coming through on the swing, you know what I mean? This since I was a little, this since I knew what real was, you know what I mean? Coming through on them swingers, man, so yeah. Yes. Pop talk is a must. Pop talk is statement what your mind feel about what you done. You know what I'm saying? Once you finish your slab and you pop your tongue, Whatever you done to your slab that you feel, that you want the world that sees your slab, that phrase you put in your trunk is the statement that you had on your mind when you completed it. When I was in high school, I bought a drop top white rivy. And I went and bought some um, glass, brand new motherfucker, uh, Mr. Davis. And um, it's just like, they just got so, it was so crazy. People was dying over them, you know. It was just like something you couldn't go get. It was so exclusive. They don't ride fast for no swing. And, and, and you definitely gonna bang when you ride swing. So. Just ride, ride, big mother ship gliding, motor on side. That's what it is. What could be better? Send a couple pictures of the slab and the letter to my niggas in the pen. I'ma hold you down. 